Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycle Men this season 2015 with States 14 of the Tour de France from Montelimar to Villar Le Dôme, Part de It is a flat stage, one for the sprinters again, quite hilly in the beginning and the middle. I'm always looking for a climb towards the end where I can maybe launch an attack with one or with Thibaut Pinot. But it doesn't seem like there's really a climb towards the end. The final 10 15 kilometers seems pretty flat. So, unless I make the stage really tough, uh, this little climb around here might be my only shot. But that's so far away from the finish line that it will be very difficult to stay away from that and on this long flat section afterwards. So, I might have to try to make this race really tough on these climbs here and maybe uh, at least maybe drop some other sprinters or maybe just. Yeah, tired that seems out a lot. Okay, last 30 kilometers now, and we have a 35 ma minute uh, gap down to the peloton here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be between these six riders here. We have Pierre Fetago from, uh, what's it called? The consensus team for Tonio. We have Alex House from Canada, Jean Murat from my team, uh, Timas from Jan Alpesin, Benedetti from uh, Boa Argon, and Luzlan Santos from Astana. And it's probably going to be between, between these six riders because the person, I think finally the starts work now, but this is only because of the point sprints. Uh, there's of course seven place and a lot of points here. But the point sprints here, none of the sprints are really that far up front here. Let's just take a look at this because that's probably more exciting right now. For now, Matt Sagan, and I think Marcel Kittel will take this run. Uh, it's probably actually going to end up being, uh, I mean, Valverde from winning the green jersey because this was a chance for the green for, for them to w win a lot of points here, so yeah, they're still like the 25 kilometers behind us at the moment here. We're so far ahead, and uh, no into at all. It's just been Sky sitting up in front of Pelton, I think, for a little while. There was a uh, Katusha as well. I don't know why Katusha is sitting here. They don't really have any riders in the overall standing, do they? I mean, uh, Jorge Rodriguez is out and Sakai is out. So I don't know why they're sitting here. Van Broek. Christoph, maybe they, may, they might just be sitting for Christoph and the green jersey, but they haven't put, been pulling. They've just been sitting up front and sitting a, a reasonable pace. There goes Alex House, the first uh, attack from um, the breakaway here. Now they're trying, they know they've got the statement between them. Benedetti goes a bit here. There's no one really wanting to, to, to go. Now I'm trying to go here, let's see. Ruslan Sanchez, Fatrego. Tima. I've gotten away. It seems like at least. Let's see what I can do at this pace here. 80. Is Lucien Sanchez leading out now? Benedetti is the first tired guy here. Oh, all the other riders apart from Lucien Sanchez and me is just saving Andy now. Fatrigo takes over now. I'm in the lead, but I have 12 kilometers. I have to go this pace. That's going to be very difficult for me. I have to slow down a little bit. I could have probably tried to win a sprint here, but I don't know if I could beat guys like Fit to go in a sprint. So I, I thought I might as well just try and get away instead. 75 I think I can do down, go down to now because I have I have that half a minute lead now. I have my energy as well. Might as well just take it now. It doesn't really matter that much. Can I go down to 70? Tima Fit to go. Ruslan Sanders and Alex House is gone, so now it's 1v2. They had to work together really well to get to me, otherwise I think I might have gotten myself my third stage win of this year's Tour de France. After winning two stages, Pinot, one of his helpers, Giamira, can maybe finally take his first stage win. Oh, oh I don't know, Timo is looking strong. I think he used his energy there, so now it's for the go maybe. The last hope for another rider to win. Apart from me here. There goes Fritigo's attack. How much how much does he have left? Oh he's coming fast. He was the rider I was most worried about as well. I think he's going to win. Uh, how much energy do I have? Oh I'm, I have, I've run out of energy here. I'm going to block him. <laughs> uh, no. I even tried blocking him and I get second. Oh, that must be such a terrible way to lose for Thiago. If I'd stayed with Peter Fit to go the entire way, I think I would have won this stage. But I tried to, to attack and, and win the stage solo. I just wasn't the strongest right in the breakaway. That's it's that simple. 
if I'd played on Fitko strength and made him use energy, I think I could have won this date. But I tried from 12 kilometers out, and that's I should have waited till the, maybe the 7 8 kilometer mark instead to attack. But yeah, that's my bad. Uh, second place, <laughs> okay, that's still quite a while till Pelton comes over the line. So let's just take a look at them as well. They still have 22 kilometers to finish as either way. Uh. 13, 14 kilometers. The break was kind of food. The finish line a long time ago. It would be pretty funny if the peloton fell for the time gap here. That would have been pretty interesting to see what they would do about that. But they sadly enough won't fall for it. They just timed it <laughs> probably here. Uh, let's go with Pinot on Valverde's wheel here. Why not? I think Valverde is a decent sprinter here. He's in the green jersey anyway. Oh, I would have loved to see. It being a TC battle because then I would have actually won the tour with Tiamiwa because he, he's so far ahead of all the water rides in the breakaway here. Uh, Christoph takes the sprint ahead of Cavendish, Sagan, and Pino finishes 19th in the sprint. Pretty decent results. So I end up second in a very close sprint with Pierre, Pierre Quitago. We end up 32 minutes ahead of the entire Pelts and Puts, Tiamiwa. Quite a way up in the standings as well, I think, up to 25th now. Jumps around 15, 20 places in the standings. I think he was down here at 108 after, before the stage. So I think good news for the team conditions. Maybe we gain like quite a lot here. Uh, jump, I think, over both BMC and Trek. On 25, still the same. Mountain Clutch of the station, still the same. Sprint jersey. Um, I think Christoph gained a few points on the rest today, but not really anything spectacular. Uh, yeah, that is it for now. Tomorrow, I can't exactly remember. It is yeah, it's a mountain stage from Burgen Press to Kulo, up in the uh, yeah north, just west of the Alps. Not really the real Alps, I would say, but it is pretty close to them. Uh, we have an HC climb and a Category One climb before finishing downhill and flat. I think this is the perfect kind of stage for me because I'm going to try and attack on the HC climb, and maybe hope I have a little bit of a gap to the rest of the Peloton and the favorites before the Category One climb here because staying with the Peloton so far with Pinot hasn't proven to be a good strategy for me. So we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.